So welcome, just wanted to show you a device that we got built, or that we had built. This is a, uh, a box that's used to provide extra protection while you're intubating a patient with the coronavirus. This was initially designed by a uh, physician over in Taiwan. He made this an open source box uh, and gave all the dimensions. It uses a, uh, about a quarter inch plexiglass that's been cut out to set dimensions. It allows you to place it over the patient so that you can still operate and innovate your patient, provide additional protection for you. And in addition to this, we kind of uh, made a modification and put some plastic sheeting down at the base so it'll provide even more. Uh, some other things we've done too in order to make it easier to keep equipment clean and uh, for when you're going from patient to patient is we paste plastic sheeting over the top of the glide scope and then on preparation, if we're going into the room, we've already gone ahead and put a cover over the equipment so that when we bring it in, we're able to uh, uh, not have to monkey around with it when we're preparing. So basically, you've got your patient set up. You know you've got to intubate them. You've already put a, uh, you, can, uh, you can put this over them to begin with if you want to, and then put on your uh, uh, non-rebreather mask, or you can go ahead and put it on and then put this over the top. Once you've got that in place, you can take your glide scope, get it turned on, and you're going to slide your glide scope up underneath. Or in this case, you may have it on the other side, depending upon where you need. And then you're also going to place your equipment that you're going to need. Now, we're using a, uh, a regular stylet on this. You do have a standard there also in your standard. plastic bag. Well, we're going to play with this one just so we can get used to it if we don't have a stylet. Okay. And you slide all these pieces of equipment in there. So you've got this all set up for your innovation. You're wearing all your whatever the max PP that you have. If you've got a papper and all that equipment, great. It's one more barrier that you've got in front of you. From there, you're able to still manage the patient if you need to. Your respiratory therapist could reach up under the drape. Oh, there's a stylet. It's on the inside. But as opposed, to, some folks have been using bags to. Um, Some folks have been using bags for the uh, patients uh, and laying them over and using that as a technique, which is possible. But in this case, you're still able to work with the patient. And we'll see what's going on. And obviously, this is not the regular stylet. But you can see you've got good view. You've got your time that you're able to work with your patient. You've got good protection, and my face is completely up and covered and above here. So this is the advantage this box gives you. From there, your RT is able to reach under. They can put their, uh, once you've got the ET tube in place, you're able to connect the ventilator and you can start taking care of your patient. The benefit of this is it's protected our entire room from a lot of uh, vaporization. The only place that it may be coming out is here and you've got your drape over your patient. Cost on these, uh, the initial fellow over in Taiwan who came up, he thought they'd be about 50 bucks. They're not. I found a local source supplier. If you're buying them as a one-off, I think they're about $4.50. If you're buying them in bulk for about you know 20 at a time, they got as low as $3.50. But obviously, if folks can get a, a better deal, they can. Uh, I will put a link to the um, uh, to the design piece on this uh, in this video. And if you got any questions, just message me on it as well. Good to see you guys. Be safe out there. Wash your hands.